Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18885 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. It's been a couple of weeks since we've had a build and we've got one now. I was this machine was on skip ahead, so I've got this build straight away. If you were on 19H1 still and you were going from on the fast ring to this build, you needed to get a patch that was available first. Uh, so the patch which have got the details here, there's the KB number, so you needed 18362.86. So if you're on 19H1 or the May 2019 uh, upgrade, as it's called, you need that patch first and then you can install this build. So, what's new with this build? There's not actually a huge amount of changes, but there is something interesting in the Your Phone app, which actually works on all the builds of Windows 10, but I might as well show you anyway. So, in the Your Phone app, and I'm currently not seeing this new new build with it on. It will actually push your notifications from your phone through to Windows 10. So I've got this up and running now. And if I had that an option available, any notifications that came through on my phone would come through on here. So here's the screenshot that Microsoft gave out. So you can see with notifications coming through. So if, I'll see if I can get a notification to come through. I don't think mine is enabled yet. So it's not come come through yet, but that should work. And uh, also the the um, screen mirroring is not enabled yet on my on my phone, um, but it's coming soon. But so I keep checking for an update, but that's not uh, available yet. But I'm looking forward to to giving that a try. Some other changes to this is additional language support for um, dictation, and the feedback app has been updated. So this is the latest version of the feedback app. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor. They fixed issues with um, USB drives being uh, unexpectedly given different drive letters. This is one of the bugs that's stopping the May update from going out to a PC if you've got an SD card in there. So they fixed that in this build. So hopefully they'll add that fix back to the May update as well because that actually stops you um, from installing the, the May update if you've got an SD card in your, or a USB drive in your machine. So hopefully they can patch that back in. They fixed some uh, setup issues after login. They fixed some app volume issues, some storage sense issues, and they fixed some issues with Windows Hello and blue screens when connecting um, over remote desktop. There's still plenty of known issues. There's an issue with older version of the anti-cheat software that, uh, that was a known issue for a long while. So if you have the anti-cheat software uh, with a game, if you've got the old version of that, it would stop the build from installing because there's a bug in it. If you've got the new version of the anti-cheat software, you'd be okay. Some real tech SD card readers are still not working correctly. There's an issue with remote desktop when connecting through search and certain devices, the night light is not working properly. Um, they've also added an issue since the build was released where if you have a previous version of Windows and you get an error message that you need to delete an NT account, they, uh, they give you the regedit uh, solution for that. So, no really major new features. I did see the notification, and I can't replicate it. These no pop-up notifications coming through seem to be smaller on here. I don't know whether that's a one-off or they've changed the UI design, but I just can't quite replicate that at the moment. There you go, you can see it there. I did manage to replicate it. I'm not sure that's a bug or that's how it's meant to be, but I'm pretty sure that that should fill out this area there. Anyway, we'll see. It could be just a bug and probably a reboot would fix it. So I'll give that a play later. So that's all the changes. I was hoping to be able to show you the Android messages coming through, but I just haven't got that um, update yet. But uh, I'll show that on my next video. Actually, I do a weekly video showing all the sort of latest Windows Insider news, so make sure you check out that on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at iStixon. So thanks for watching this video. If you've got any comments, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.